Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use slidesai.io in Google Slides. So without further ado, let's check them out. So the first thing you want to do is jump into slidesai.io and this is the page you'll find on the top right hand side. To get straight into it, you're going to click on install slides AI. Now once you do so, it'll redirect you to this page, which is the Google Workspace Marketplace. And this is actually an extension that you use on Google Slides. So you can now go in here, click on install, and it will redirect you to this page, which will give you a rundown of how to use it. Essentially, you're going to jump into Slides, which you can uh, go into from Chrome. You're going to hit these Google Apps dots over here. You're going to scroll down and you're just going to open up Slides. So this is what slides looks like. And in your ribbon over here, you'll see extensions and slide AI.io. So the first thing we're going to do is generate a new slide. Now, once you generate a new slide, it'll be absolutely from scratch and you can customize it from there. Now, there's a number of ways that you can generate a new slide. OK, so the first way we're going to explore is from your own text. Now, you literally are going to go ahead and add in a text so that you can create a slide from this text. However, you can also present a topic. You can use a PDF document. You can use a website link and you can also use a website link from YouTube. I think that's fantastic as a YouTube creator. That is a lovely feature for me. However, for now, as these are still in the making, we're going to go ahead and use this one over here. Now, I've prepared something and um, we can now go ahead and click on choose appearance. Here, you can choose a number of things. Your presentation preferences. OK, so you've got a presentation type you can choose and then the number of slides for now, more than 10 slides. It's on its way, but for now, you can choose between one and 10. You can add a title and a thank you slide. So it'll be a first page and a last page. And then you can also summarize text. So over here it says um, it currently summarizes long text. But if you'd like it to be not summarized, you can just uncheck that box. That's fine. As you scroll down here, you'll see styles and colors. Now you've got themes and some of these are coming soon. This is still relatively new. But here you can see we've chosen this one. And then a color preset. You can choose from one of these color presets over here. You can also add your own customized logo, which personalizes your slide presentation even more. You can now choose a layout type. And again, we've got some things that are on its way, but not available just yet. So we're going to just choose that one over there. And here you can click on create slides. Now, this process will take a few seconds, even a few minutes, depending on how large your presentation is. So now we're up and running. It's in draft. And what we can do here is uh, we can go ahead and we can close this and it will be available over here. OK, so on the left hand side, you can see this is our draft and uh, this is what has been prepared. So I'm just going to remove these unwanted pages. And as you go down on the left hand side, you can see all of your slides. OK, of course, as usual, you can edit absolutely everything right here. But there's a couple more options. If you go into extensions again and back into slides AI, you can magic write. Now, the magic write uses a credit system, whereas you can use prompts to change elements within your presentation. This um, pop up menu will come up on the right hand side over here and you get 10 credits for free. And here you can paraphrase sentences. You can generate images. You can use um, search icons, citations, emojis. And then one of the other things you can do is export your slides as an MP4. OK, so it'll be in a video format. The other thing you can do is if you go into extensions again is the magic write and then the edit. And these basically allow you to completely edit each individual slide as you're going through your presentation. You can also add a new slide. So if you go add new slide on the right hand side here, you will see that you can add a single new slide to this presentation. So on the left hand side, you can see that's what it looks like. But on the right hand side, you can now add an additional slide and you can give all the details of the slide as you're going. So from the slide title to the text, as well as the layout over here, you can see 
uh, the style and you can choose from a number of styles so it just refreshes as you're choosing different layouts as well as different styles you can see that there's a bunch of uh, different things unfortunately some of them are only available to the paid plan but you can see that there's quite a fair amount you can also remix and then you can also go ahead and you can design your own with all of these color and style options over here